Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to Dormer Pramat online training session. This is our sixth session this year, so and uh, uh, we appreciate you are uh, joining us and listening us. Uh, if you are for some reason uh, unable to sit through the whole session, uh, do not worry. This session is being recorded, so uh, uh, you can just find it later uh, with all previous ones at uh, dormerpramat.com. Uh, you just go to a section uh, knowledge base and there you have a list of all uh, previous ones together with, uh, with, the, with the schedule, what is coming. And uh, also you can uh, just go to uh, Dorma Prama YouTube channel, there you can find the videos as well. And beside those ones you can find another handy videos showing our products and uh, uh, some learning as well. Uh, this one is the, the last session before summer break. And we'll come back to you again in September, uh, by the end of September, uh, with another session uh, uh, through the end of the year. As usually, if you have any questions during the session, please write it through the webinar panel, and we will answer all the questions at the end of the presentation. Uh, there might be a question we'll not know what to answer to you, but I promise we'll come back to you and answer uh, in a separate emails to, to you. Well, uh, now is just to sit and relax. Uh, Topic for today is a wiper inserts, and uh, this topic will be presented to you by North American Prague manager Jesus Nava. Thank you, Martin. Appreciate that. Hello, everyone. As Martin said, um, I'm the North American product manager. My name is Jesus Nava uh, for Donor Parliament. I would like to thank you all for attending this webinar, which, uh, as stated, will be on wiper inserts. And at the end, we'll also look at some uh, prominent product selections as we go through the presentation. And uh, from our point of view, safety first is always our number one priority. It is everyone's responsibility as well. Uh, keep in mind when you're in a shop environment, follow all the safety requirements that are set forth by the manufacturer as well as the standards set forth by uh, our company, Doma Promet. And if many of you uh, work out in a machine shop, always wear that proper eye protection. As you know, chips can fly out of the machine and tools can break and shatter at any given time. <clears throat> so um, the first half of this presentation will deal with uh, wipers pertaining to the turning applications. And then the uh, second half, we'll get into a little bit of the wipers pertaining to the milling side of it. So first, let's look at the first presentation on, on turning. Wiper inserts are used in many industries where turning is needed. The main product market is general machining, particularly primary suppliers producing pins, hubs, cylinders, shafts, bearings, slewing rings, etc. For areas such as general engineering, which covers many industries where turning tolerances can range from wide open to very tight in various materials such as steel, stainless steel, super alloys, and other materials as well, of which many require quality finishes. Automotive, you have examples of fuel pump components, which re also require tight tolerances and finishes on the face, where wipers help in achieve this criteria. We also have bearings. The turning of bearings cover varied industries from machine tools to wind turbines, where finishes are needed on both the inside and outside of the part. In aerospace, components can range from very small to very large, many requiring tolerances as tight as two-tenths of an inch or .0002, and smooth finishes. Parts can range from couplers, retention rings, missile components, etc. And in agriculture, components vary from axles, differential housings, pistons, disc brakes, and many more used in tractors, combines, balers, and other equipment used in the industry. So uh, why use wipers? Wipers should be considered primarily as a high feed rate machining insert. You can increase the feed rate and maintain surface finishing with only a small decrease in tool life. It's a productivity booster as well. You gain measured surface quality by using wipers at a normal feed rate. And when should we use them? Let's say uh, wipers are the first choice in stable conditions, but we recommend wipers whenever it's possible to use them turning in longitudinal and transverse machining, and use them both for external and internal machining. Uh, <clears throat> areas where low surface roughness is requested, possible to increase the productivity by applying the higher feed 
and where production managers hope to cancel finishing and grinding operation when a requested roughness is achieved. You can also expect to solve chip uh, breaking problems by increasing the feed to achieve a more suitable chip flow. There are some limitations to keep in mind such as vibrations or lack of stability. Visually, the surface may appear smeared or rough. However, when the surface is measured, the surface finish is still better. That is important for customers to know when a wiper is tested. Have them check the finish with a profilometer if they have one. Some considerations, wiper inserts generate a higher cutting force, about 10% more. You can feed in, increase the feed, which increases the cutting forces. It also requires a rigid, more stable setup of the um, fixturing and the machine. Back facing is not recommended <clears throat> when doing wiping. And there can also be a risk of vibration and turning of thin wall or, or slim components. A wiper is basically a series of smaller radii around the large main nose radius, lengthening the minor cutting edge in such a way that it smooth, smooths out the scallops. In other words, it wipes the machine surface. As you can see up here in the picture, you can see these little scallops, these little dips here. And a wiper, compared to a regular insert, has this larger or longer land, which helps in the process of making it smoother. Uh, <clears throat> like I mentioned, a technical solution, one edge is based on 3 to 7. Depending on the insert, will range from a 3 to 7 radius, and that will be the makeup of the insert itself, as you see up here on the uh, upper left-hand corner on the edge. Longer contact surfaces produce a better surface finish but at the same time increase the cutting forces and make wipers more sensitive to vibrations when machining unstable conditions. So the rule of thumb when using wipers, you can double the feed rate and it will generate the same surface finish as a standard insert. The surface finish will be twice as good with the same feed rate if it's maintained. In the chart, you see that the surface roughness of the WMR, the red line down here, is substantially lower than a standard insert with an M chip breaker, which is the blue line here. But also the level of detrition or the wearing away of, by friction when increasing the feed is much less with a WMR wiper. So th the comparison here is between a regular insert and our wiper insert. It is recommended also to use coolant to enhance a surface finish. This is a closer view of the finish on a wiper insert versus a standard insert. You can look at the shaft below, which is down here, and visually see the difference between them. The standard ISO on the right-hand side, of course, is not as shiny, but you can actually see the indications on the on the right hand side of the shaft as compared to the one in the middle here in the center which is the one with a wiper insert and in this case keep in mind we have doubled the feed as compared to the one on the right side the wiper effect is achieved in horizontal or vertical operations wiper inserts can be used for machining conical surfaces but only with an angle smaller than five degrees the greater the angle of the conical section, the smaller the insert contact with the workpiece. This does not mean that you cannot use wiper inserts on conical sections, but the smoothing or the effect will not be as prominent. The more you start to get away from that five degrees, the less contact you have on that tip where that wiper exists. Real, uh, some of the benefits, reliable chip forming in a wide area of cutting depths and feeds. As mentioned, half the roughness of a machine surface compared with standard inserts or with an unchanged feed. Double feed compared to standard inserts to achieve unchanged roughness. And the minus in this case would be a greater radial cutting forces. Higher demand upon the machine and the tool requires a machine part rigidity. So in general, the effects of a wiper are with a standard insert feed, the wiper reduces the surface roughness by 50%. With a standard insert roughness, you can increase wiper feed by 100% or double the feed. Other solutions to improving the surface roughness as well would be you could lower the feed, better cooling or cooling with higher pressure, 
sometimes higher cutting speed or chip breaker with a more positive or sharper geometry. Let's look at a wiper insert with an MR chip, chip breaker. Wiper inserts with a WMR are designed for the material groups P and can also use, be used in steel, stainless steel and cast iron. The WMR T9315 inserts are for high productivity for semi-roughing to finishing of steel. The features on this particular insert is a positive geometry for smooth machining with lower cutting forces, a wide area on the face of the insert for chip forming, in this case, right around this area here, all the way around. And this particular insert carries a seven radii on the corner, that is its makeup here, all the way around here in this picture. A fine grain substrate with a low cobalt content and uh, has an empty CVD uh, coating, which is unique to this particular insert, which helps in abrasion resistance and operational reliability, suited for the higher speeds. These overall features lead to an improved surface finish. So now looking at this insert, the WMR wiper with a 9325 grade, these inserts are for high productivity, semi-roughing to finishing of steel and stainless steel. The features are the same as the 9315, other than the carbide substrate is, has a lower cobalt content. It's CVD coated, and this particular one is made for high versatility and very good operational re reliability, uh, used for medium to higher cutting speed. As you can see in the upper right hand corner here, the black squares show that this particular wiper insert is good on steel, stainless steel, and cast iron as well. Here you can visually see on the bar the differences in finish from the right hand side here to the left hand side on this particular shaft. Looking at the upper left hand corner picture up here, you can see the scallops after an insert has been has cut through it. Now also look at the picture on the right showing an insert with a wiper. You notice that the scallops are more shallow, but the R2 indicates that the roughness is twice as good with a wiper insert. The third picture on the bottom left is the same as the top left up here. In comparison to the picture at the bottom right, where the feed rate is doubled, but the roughness when measured equates to the same or equal to the part run at slower feed. You can see that these scallops, because the feed rate was, was doubled, are further apart as compared to the ones up here. So what you get from using a wiper insert is a productivity increase while at the same time creating an acceptable finish. In this particular slide, it gives you a comparison between three of different grades, a 9315, a 9325, and a T5315. As you can see, all three have a new wiper shape and positive geometry. For um, in this particular case, the T9315 grade inserts rated for the P05 to P25, K05 to K25. Those are the ISO um, carbide properties for uh, the six different uh, material groups that we have. In regards to the WMR wiper on the T9325 in the center here, it's rated for steel, stainless steel, and uh, cast iron. And then the 5315 on the right hand side is more for the cast iron between the K10 to K25. And you can see the differences here. Uh, the fine grain substrate is considered uh, on the 5315, the other do not. And then down here, the finished medium and roughing. And you can see below that the particular ISO uh, groups that they're related to. So the benefits in this case of the MR wiper inserts, positive geometry for smooth machining with low cutting forces, high feed finishing achieved because of the carbide substrate, high productivity feed, which is the, uh, the feed towards the depth of cutter ratio, along with a great surface finish due to the wiper shape. You get high durability and reliability as a result of combination of grade and geometry. And in some cases, depending on the surface finish, a grinding operation can be eliminated. So keep that in mind for some of you. If, you, if that finish falls within acceptability, 
and you can get it with a wiper insert, that eliminates another operation, which of course saves you time and money. Now looking at more of a medium machining insert with the FM and NM inserts. In this particular case, they're made for the stainless steel area. And, uh, the WNM T7335 is for finishing and medium turning of stainless steels. In this case, it has a three radii on the corner, a high positive geometry, 28 degree rake, and that helps with the lowering of cutting forces. And it has a CVD coating, which helps with chemical stability, high temperature hardness, and low thermal conductivity. In this case, we have the WFM T8330. This is for finishing and medium turning of stainless steel and steel. This particular one has a three corner radii, a 16 degree rake, PVD coating, which enhances the resistance to thermal cracking. We have other specific inserts for stainless steel, such as the T9315 grade with an FM NM chip breaker geometry. The picture on the left is a CNM, CNMG insert. The one on the right is a CCMT. Both of these carry a three nose radius and offer unique benefits depending on their characteristics. So like I said, let's not forget that in the milling applications, there are also wiper inserts as well. Some product markets where wiper inserts would be used in milling, you have the aerospace area. In there, you could have aircraft hinge brackets, which are used in cargo and passenger aircraft doors, as well as landing gear aircraft doors. In general, general engineering, mounting blocks used in various ways, such as in helping aligning, adjusting, and holding of various shaped parts for machining. In metallurgy, bearing houses for steel producing industries designed to accept ball, tapered, and spherical bearings to be used in various industry, industries such as agriculture and food processing. You also have the marine section, gearbox housings, house gear components that assist in engaging and disengaging of a propeller for movement. And in the die and mode, machining of these complex 3D forms a lot of times require tight tolerances as well as smooth finishes in order to produce the right geometrical workpiece. So looking at a 45 degree cutter with wiper inserts, you limit the feed to 80% of the parallel land. When we talk about the parallel land, on the left-hand side picture here, you see the 0 0.08. This is the land on a standard insert. And on a wiper insert, normally it is longer. In this case, it's 0.323 inches. A cutter's axial runout will also influence the waviness of the machine surface. So keep that in mind on the spindle. A wiper land should protrude below the milling inserts by approximately 0 0.002 inches or two thousandths of an inch when mounted in cutters with fixed insert uh, seats. So what we're talking about is this portion here should stick out on a wiper insert 0 0.002 further out than the regular standard insert. A wiper is subject to greater loads because it protrudes further than the regular inserts, which can lead to vibration. So it has also been asked as to whether you can use more than one wiper insert in the same cutter. I have seen it done on cutters that are like 10, 12 inches in diameter or larger, but I have not seen that more than one wiper actually improves the surface finish that much more. Keep in mind that you will be trying to set two wipers to be as close to 0 0.002 inches above the regular inserts, and if they are not close to each other, then you will have them creating more force upon the material with a chance of creating vibration. In the end, it is something that you yourself could try to create and thus form your own opinion as to whether or not you would like to use more than one wiper on a, a particular material. In milling, one of our cutters with a wiper is the Econ LN cutter. We have the FR and FA geometries, one for light machining, the R for heavy machining, and the FA for machining of non-ferrous materials. In this particular case, we have the LNMU 
uh, insert M5315 is primarily for medium to heavy machining of cast irons. And we also have the LNMU M8340, which is machining of stainless steel, high temperature alloys and steel. They both offer four cutting edges for double productivity, a positive geometry. The 5315 is a CVD coated insert, while the M8340 is a PVD coated insert. And the PVD in this case helps with reducing the occurrence and spreading of what we call comb micro cracks in operations with, with high thermal loads. They have an inclined cutting edge to reduce cutting forces and ensure st stable and, and quiet milling operations. Now these inserts have a built-in wiper for a high quality uh, finish. They are built in around this section here. And as they cut, they help in the, uh, the surface finish, like I stated, to give you a better uh, readout. In this case, the Econ LN milling cutter offers a through coolant for optimal cooling on the cutting edges. We have the fixed clamping screw for high process security. The differential pitch all the way around, or the irregular distance of teeth, that helps in cutting down the vibration and reduce the noisiness of the system in the machine tool workpiece. And it's nickel coated surface to improve the durability with corrosion and abrasive wear resistance and, redu and reduction of friction. Now let's look at another cutter which offers a different kind of a wiper. The S45OE, in this case 09, is a cutter that accepts both octagonal and round inserts. It has a double positive geometry, which is ideal for free cutting and group materials. Reliable clamping, it has a large robust screw to hold down that uh, insert. Internal coolant to enhance the benefits of the liquid coolant, such as longer tool life, higher cutting speeds, and service finish. But as you can see, it also has a wiper insert, insert all to its own. The optional wiper, as you can see up here in the upper left-hand corner, is designed to produce a high surface finish quality. This XEHT insert is a wiper for light to medium machining conditions in steel. It has a positive geometry, what we call an ultra submicron substrate, which helps in the uh, highest abrasion resistance with one wiper edge for higher surface finish or metal removal rates. Wiper inserts have one edge that is the wiper, and you must be careful that you load the correct edge facing the material that will be machined. Sometimes it is possible you have two edges here, but in this case, the wiper one is this one down here and not the one on the left-hand side. So here are some technical informational questions that people have asked. Are prominent wiper inserts ISO or ANSI standards? The answer is yes, all CNMG, WNMG inserts are ISO ANSI standards. It's not necessary to change the NC programs. It is possible to use standard tool holders for them. How are the cutting forces changed by a wiper inserts? Wiper inserts increase the radial cutting forces by 10 to 15%. Axial and tangential forces are equal to common inserts. Be careful during machining of thin walled parts and, sl and slim shafts due to vibration. One of the solutions for that would help to decrease the cutting speed and use a smaller nose radius. Now can a wiper insert be used for a taper cut? To get the best results, the wiper radius has to be in line with the machine surface. A bigger taper angle gives less contact on insert or the machine part. We don't recommend more than five degree taper cut. It is possible to use a wiper insert for a bigger taper, but the surface quality will be reduced and eventually you'll get no wiper effect. What improvement of surface quality can be achieved by wiper inserts? Twice better surface quality, increased feed gives higher difference on machine surfaces between the wiper and the standard inserts. Which approach angle is the best? It is important to have a good contact of the wiper radius with machine surface. The right type of tool holder is extremely important. The inserts type C and W are designed for holders with the approach angle near 95 degrees. So it's also been asked, is the tool life of a wiper in insert reduced? Uh, normally the answer is no, it's not. The tool life of a wiper ins insert is the same or better in comparison with standard geometry. 
But with that being said, if used in roughing operations, the insert life will be reduced significantly. Wiper inserts are not suitable for rough machining applications. What is the effect on chip forming? Geometry M is suitable for machining up to and roughing. The best way to cut down the chips is to increase the feed. With wiper inserts, it is possible to increase the feed without deterioration of the machine surface. Can a wiper insert be used for internal machining? There is no limitation for internal turning or boring. Remember, however, that the wiper geometry slightly increases the cutting forces during machining a thin, walled part or a longer overhang that in itself can increase vibration. Can a wiper insert be used for facing operations? Yes, but it is important to apply a wiper only when the feed leads down to the center of the part, that is when the chips are formed correctly. So in other words, you are cutting from the outside into the center. So hopefully you've learned something out of this. Um, and, and, and hopefully I have explained how wipers are used as well. So this brings us to the end of this webinar on wiper inserts. I hope you've gotten a little insight as to who Dormer Parmet is, as well as to when to use wiper inserts to achieve higher productivity. Please keep in mind that Dormer Parmet the next time, please keep Dormer Parmet in mind the next time you need reliable tooling for either the round tool or indexable areas of our application. Thank you very much, I appreciate. Uh, any questions that you might have? All right, so uh, we have a, well, so far one question. So, uh, it's regarding the wiper for milling. How do we know in which pocket we must install the wipers? Uh, we have a fixed pocket and there is no chance to move the wipers uh, two thousands of inch higher than the utility inserts. The milling cutters are marked in the pocket, uh, in the pocket that we must to install the wipers. Uh, the answer is um, no, you can use the insert in any pocket you want because the insert as such is designed that it stick out uh, uh, 2,000 of the inch, so it's, uh, there is no dedicated insert. Yeah, um, that's, that's, that's true, uh, Martin, as well. And uh, one of the things that you can do to also check on that, the R fixed pockets on a cutter is uh, what I've done is you can take an indicator, turn the pocket, put it in a V block, and turn the, the holder with the... Uh, inserts on there and put the indicator on the tip of uh, the insert, then rotate that holder around so that it touches each of the inserts and eventually that indicator needle will move, of course, and the one that sticks out the, uh, let's see, the highest would be where you would want to put it. You know, that, they are fixed pockets, but they don't always vary your, there is some uh, tolerancing on them, but you want to change out that regular insert in the pocket that sticks out the, the farthest. Thank you. Uh, there are no more questions. So if you have any questions, please send us the, the email and the email address provided to you uh, later on. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Seth, we are coming to a summer break and we'll be talking to you back in September. So please stay tuned. Thank you and have a beautiful Friday.